Welcome to Geographic Definitions. Today we'll be defining Apogean Tide. Apogean tides are when the moon is furthest away and the tides are reduced. The moon is beautiful. In fact, the Arabic word for moon, Omar, is often used to call someone beautiful. For example, in this classic Egyptian love song by Faiza Ahmed, she sees a handsome suitor and calls to her mother, Mother, the moon is at the door, indicating that there's somebody beautiful at the door. Apart from being a classy aesthetic, the moon serves a very significant function for us on Earth. The moon controls the tides. Using its tidal force, the moon's gravitational pull pulls at the water, giving us low tides that are often enjoyed as beaches, and giving us high tides. Note these photographs are taken by the photographer Michael Martin, hours apart from the same location. In this current orientation, we can see that the moon is creating high tides where it's pulling at the water, and low tides where it's not. As the moon orbits around the Earth, you'll find that the tide follows its gravitational pull. The moon's path, however, will likely be more elongated and less centered, like this. As the moon moves closer to Earth, its impact on the tides are strongest. But as the moon moves further away, that force is weakened. When tidal forces are the strongest and closest, it's called a perigee tide. But when tidal forces are the weakest and furthest away, it's called an apogean tide. Essentially, closer positions carry a strong tidal force, and further positions carry a weaker tidal force. And those tides triggered by the moon at its furthest are known as apogean tides. Thus, apogean tides are when the moon is furthest away and the tides are reduced. Thank you for watching. Please support the channel by subscribing, leaving a comment, and liking the video. If you're interested in these resources, please visit my test store, link in the description.